Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to root a Galaxy Note 4 running on Lollipop. So as you can see, this Note 4, the SMN910G is running on 5.0.1. So it doesn't matter what it's actually running on, but this is how you get it rooted. So this method is also applicable to the Exynos variant. So I'll be showing you guys how to get it done. Uh, so keep in mind that this will cause your Nox counter to trip, meaning your warranty will be void. Uh, but that being said, you will not be losing your apps or data. But just to be safe, if you want to back it up, go ahead, do that. So the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description. Clicking on link one will take you to this page. Just scroll down, download keys three from here, install it and make sure it's not running in the background. Then clicking on link two will take you to this page. So over here, just scroll down and select the latest version of Odin, download it, and link three will take you to this page, TWRP devices. So just scroll down till you find node four. So if you have the Exynos variant, select the Exynos variant. If you have the Qualcomm variant like I do, select the Qualcomm variant. So over here, just uh, select under download links, just select what's relevant to you, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, uh, General International, N910F, India is the N910G, so that's what I'm going to select. So over here, select the latest uh, file that's 2.8.6 at the time of shooting this video and select the one that's ending in .amg.tar. Okay, it's the .tar ending that we need to download. So once you've downloaded that, click on link 4 and that will take you to this page. So over here, just scroll down and you would find, yeah, over here, uh, clockwork mod TWRP uh, mobile load in installable zip so select that that will get you the latest version of super su so download that as well so once you've downloaded these files the first thing you do is connect your node 4 to the pc and transfer the update super su uh, dot zip onto your internal storage i've done that already so the next thing you do is right click on odin and select extract here and now double click Odin. So now leave it as it is and let's quickly jump on to the Note 4 itself. So go ahead, turn off the Note 4. Just wait for the lights on the capacitive keys to go off. The Note 4 will also vibrate once it's off. So once uh, the vibration's done, just uh, go ahead, hold down volume, power, and the home key at the same time. So this would take you to the to the screen. So here hit volume up to continue and you'd be in the downloading mode. So right now, connect your Note 4 to the PC with a micro USB cable and you can see this turn blue. So if this, this, this doesn't turn blue, it means you're having issues with the drivers, in which case make sure uh, you just ensure that keys isn't running in the background. If it is, exit it, or uninstall keys, reinstall it, reboot, and it should work. So now select AP and navigate to wherever it is that uh, we've downloaded the other files. So lollipop root, the TWRP file is the one we are looking for. The one ending .amg.tar, select it and now hit start. So just give it a um, few seconds to complete. There you go. Once you see the green pass, hit exit. We are done with the PC part of this tutorial. So right now you can disconnect your, you can disconnect your Note 4 from the PC. Disconnect the micro USB cable rather. So once you're up, what you do is turn off the phone again. And again, once it vibrates and the capacitive keys, the lights uh, go off. This time hold up volume, power and home instead. So just keep holding it. Once you see Galaxy Note 4 displayed, let the keys go. So this would cause you to boot into the TeamWin or TWRP custom recovery. So over here, select install, scroll, and select the update super SU file that we transferred at the start of this video, and swipe to confirm flash. So there you go. Now just hit reboot system now, or reboot system rather. So the Note 4 should boot back up and we should have full root access. So anyway, just give it a few seconds. 
there you go we're up so now quickly going into uh, the app draw as you can see my colleague uses this, this phone for game videos so there, there are a lot of games and everything still present and you now have a super SEO app as well so there you go that's the app and just to show you guys that all's fine let's quickly head on into the play store and uh, search for root checker download it so there you go root checker got installed opening it up selecting agree and verify root and there you see so hitting grant and you can see that this device now has root access so i guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little tutorial on how to get root access on your galaxy note 4 uh, with the lollipop update so if you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries feel free to hit me up in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as and when I can. So I guess that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did like this video, if you did find it useful, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.